a young girl travels far from home and discovers unexpected strength in herself, her family, and her ancestors. And it really brought together Eric Carle's uh, illustrations and words to life. Going to kindergarten is very scary, even if you're a dinosaur. Music and dance and going back in time, time travel. There's even an alien who would hang out with these groups of friends and that was helping them go time traveling. There was a moment when the mom said, there are no magic potions for life. Sometimes you have to do the really hard work now. All the kids were just like, oh, wow, that's an amazing lightning bug. Oh, wow, that's an awesome butterfly. Also, I don't think I have ever been so in love with an octopus since Ursula came across the movie screen as I was watching as a kiddo. Stopped in a moment, all of the lights and sounds worked together, like the whole theater was going back in time. There's lots of different personalities in the world. Some of us like it a little loud. Some of us prefer it quiet. You know what? If you respect each other, you can still be friends. I was also so pleased to see these kiddos with wide eyes and minds just completely expanding with surrealist art. Powerful dance and storytelling draw the audience through a beautiful dreamscape towards a call to action inspiring youth and adults alike. The nominees for Outstanding Production of Theater for Young Audiences are Saul Paul's Alien Adventure. Through the Slumber Glass, Pollyanna Theatre Company. The Very Hungry Caterpillar Show by Zach Theatre. Yana Wana's Legend of the Blue Bonnet, co-produced by Teatro Vivo and the Indigenous Cultures Institute. Dinosaur Roar, Pollyanna Theatre Company.